Hello, hello guys, you all, all you sexy beasts out there. So yeah, going to go over the tips and tricks. Really, there isn't anything uh, that I haven't shown you already. Um, I'm not, obviously, I hope you guys know that I'm not trying to brag by saying this, but um, I have shown you guys, or broken down the, oops, all the uh, guides for the regents. Uh, we'll go over the tainted gems later on. But everything else is how you wanna, you wanna, I show you how to do them in the best way and all of them are updated, otherwise I'll update the things if they work, but they're all updated right now to work for farming Void High Lord. So I will not be uh, breaking down how to farm each individual region. We're just gonna be going over the big stuff. So, uh, big stuff, Void Crystals, High Lord, Rowan Geniums, particular order, is there any order? Uh, no, not a really, not at all. The Unidentified Tens, they're basically gimmies from the quest here. Yeah, the Lord's 20, so after your 10th Rowan Genium, the, these things, it's, it's a gimme, it's free basically. Um, Tana Gems, we'll go over those later. Uh, Elder's Bloods, these are from a daily quest. So what that means is you can only get them once per day. You need two from here, you need 15 Rongeniums. They are part of the Rongenium quest, so you need one each. 15 plus two is 17 days it takes. And also a nuisance thing to get is the Unidentified 13. So I'm saying nuisance, especially considering how hard it can be for free players. So we're gonna do a quick package deal breakdown. Um, your unidentified 13s and your voucher of Nolgath. And I remember where did I put that? There it is. Um, they both drop from the Nolgath larvae quest or the supplies to spin the wheel of chance. Do not do the assistant quest. Why? Because it takes 100k gold, that blood cloak. That gold is something you're going to need later. Because that stupid Nogath shaped chocolate. Chocolate. The chocolate. It's expensive. Two million. Two million chocolate. Yeah, screw the chocolate. But um, the voucher of Nogath, now remember, it is approximately a 1% drop rate from either the supplies to spin the wheel uh, quest or the Nolgath larvae quest. Uh, same, and then the unidentified 13, it's around a 5% drop. At least that's what we farmer players would probably estimate. We, you know, the drop rates aren't confirmed. So you need the voucher of Nolgath, only one, you only need it once, and then you can start from the own Genium's quest. And it's also nice to have it too, because then you can use it to farm uh, Drudgeon's Voucher Item Quest, where it's 60 Essence of, of Nogath, which drop from the Dark Mackay, for 10 gems or one totem. And you get to choose. And then the Hadean Onyx, which you also need. You need the Hadean Onyx and the Voucher of Nogath now member to accept the Rongenium Quest. It now spawns in this room, isn't that convenient? So you can just beat down this Shadow of Nogath thing all day. There might be players here farming it too, so it's a relatively weak monster. It just hits high. Uh, the Hadean, though, it is a lower drop. It's probably around the same drop rate as uh, uh, Voucher of Nolgath and a member, so around a 1%. So it can take a while. So we covered those uh, hard things. You know, most of, most of you guys probably already know how to get those. If not, you know, now you know, so it's not a big deal. Um, all the regions I have covered in my videos. Uh, these little nuisance things, they're easy to get, so I won't be covering those. Um, tainted gems now. Uh, emblems of Nolgath. And the gold. Those are really the three big meanies that take a while we'll be going we'll all talk about the process of getting gold later on here 
I'm going to first cover the tainted gems. And the reason why I want to cover these is because it relates to the three glitches video that I've done before and I used all three glitches for farming Void Highlord. You guys might be like, oh, glitches, no, those are bad, they're exploits, blah, 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 blah. Yeah, okay, whatever. Depends on your definition. So, real definition of an exploit is making full use of something. And that's what we're doing here. We're trying to work smarter, not necessarily spend so much time working harder. So, what do I mean by that? First glitch, quest work. You can use it to change maps, run around, stays open so you can farm and do the quests at the same time. The bank stacking so that you can stack, for example, your gems of Nogath, which normally stacks 150 beyond the max stack. So an example, since they're AC tagged, you can do them for free. So an example are totems of Nogath. For me, this is my example. You don't need to stack them to 39. You only need 15 for the void crystal. I have 39 because I have this pet, so it's super easy to farm them. But max stack is 30, but I can move them into inventory and then back to increase the stack one by one. And then, so I showed you guys that. Oh yeah, and then the boosted room, which relates to the Tainted Gems. And I'll explain that real quick here. Boosted room just increases the monster spawn rate, so they spawn basically instantly. Um, and how that relates to Tainted Gems and Essences of Nolgath also. Because Essences of Nolgath drop from Dark Magi, which are aggressive monsters on respawn. And then the, uh, the Box Guardians and the, the Sneevil Boss and Slash Join Boxes. If you're farming those for cubes, which I highly recommend. Because that quest is slightly faster than the opposing quest. And I'm going to go back to... Uh, gosh, there's so many lateral things to talk about. I'll quickly wrap up this point, then I'll go back to painted gems. But the reason why you want to farm in a booster room, the reason why I did, is because the rate is faster by doing those aggressive monsters. Because what that means is, if your friend is over here and he's killing a bunch of them, and you're over here killing a bunch of them, then you both get the drops for killing monsters that you might not have touched because they're aggressive on respawn, so both, all players in the room get the drops from them, even if they're not attacking, so even if they're AFK. Not trying to put any evil ideas into your heads, you know, definitely recommend farming them instead of cheating out on your friends. But the reason why I'm saying that is because it increases your farm rate. So, as an example, cubes, doing a boosted room by yourself is three to 4,000 an hour, if you have a good class like Blaze Binder. If you do it with multiple people, like two or three people, uh, friends or guildmates in uh, boxes, then you can get six to seven thousand cubes. So you're basically doubling. And the same is for Tursas. It takes you like 45, around 45 minutes to get 60 essences of Nolgath by yourself. Or if you do it with friends, then you're going to be basically insta killing the Makai. So then you get 15 to 20. All you're doing is just speeding up the amount of time that you would normally get those essences and cubes in. Alright, so now we're going down to Tainted Gems. In my uh, other video, the reason why I didn't, I kind of held off in my uh, that playlist, because I recommend doing the cube region, the cubes, and then the ice cubes. You get the ice cubes from snow golem things. Um, for the best map is the slash join Mount Frost one. There's like four of them in the second room. So that's pretty easy. Um, yeah, but uh, you can you, you have to do this quest from a uh, sword or a pet giving sword of Nolgath. Um, and this also goes back to the uh, voucher of Nolgath on my brand unidentified 13. Because if you do farm those from the uh, Nolgath larvae quest, the eighth betrayal bay blade drops from that quest. While the eighth betrayal blade is a member pet, this isn't the eighth betrayal blade. The eighth betrayal blade though does give the uh, sword of Nolgath pet's quest. So while you can't equip the pet since it's a member pet, you can access the pet's quest for free, and the pet is AC tech, so free storage. 
Obviously, I'm not member, and I can still access the quest and accept them. All right, so we covered that. Yeah, that helps a lot. Okay. Ah, uh, yes. Stacking and gold. The reason why stacking plays such a huge role, at least why it played such a huge role for me, is because don't worry about getting gold for your first few rolling geniums. Why I'm saying this is because you're going to collect gold from killing monsters and doing quests anyways, right? So why not just wait on getting the Nolgath shaped chocolate, the 2 million gold thing, if you're going to have to farm all this other junk anyways? So why not farm the junk, all these other regions that you need, or all the regions that you need for the void crystals, and then once you hit 2 million gold, which you accumulate from doing quest rewards and gold from monsters, then you go and buy the chocolate and uh, turn in a Rowan Genia. And the reason why I'm saying like this the way I'm trying to, trying to say it, trying to get my point across, is because a lot of you people, I'm not saying that's necessarily a bad thing, but it costs you time. It costs you excess time when at the beginning stages you farm gold because farming gold takes a while now since 16 chin got nerfed so even my method that i recently showed you so the link for that video will be in the description the updated gold guide uh it's around 1 million gold for 10 minutes or or slightly less than that depending on how fast you can farm it around 1 million gold for me so that means 2 million gold for 20 minutes so every three rolling geniums is, or two to three rolling geniums is an hour of work. Whereas what I did was I would work on the rolling geniums, and then once I got the tainted gems to 200, then I'd work on stacking them, and then once I got like 377 tainted gems, for example, as an example number, and then a bunch of other uh, regions, then I hit two million gold, go and turn it in, and so. You guys are like, oh, well, yeah, so you're not going to be farming an emblem a day or whatever. Yeah, or a Rowan Genium a day. No, I, I most certainly did not come close to it. At least not for my first five or six Rowan Geniums. Since it took me around five or six Rowan Geniums to stack all the uh, quest items that you need. So all the emblems of Nolgath to like a hundred and something by then and... Uh, your tainted gems and your cubes to the max and your have been like 400 gems or whatever and by then I had uh, all the region stacks so that I only needed to farm gold so while it took me five or six my five or six uh, row, first row in geniums took me like eight to ten days so around yeah probably about one to two days for each one so around a little over a week for my first five or six so that for so a lot of you guys probably wouldn't consider that a good good Rowan genium rate but then because I had all the things maxed then I only needed to farm gold for my last nine to ten Rowan geniums that I needed so then though it only took me a few remaining hours you see what I'm saying so you can save yourselves a cup it's only like two or three hours by not farming gold until you have everything else maxed since you'll get the gold by doing everything else. That was pretty repetitive, but I thought it might have been worth it for some people to go uh, in depth as I could without hopefully not confusing it too much. So a lot of stuff, I think I've covered just about everything. Um, I There are really no game breaking way to cut corner there there basically is no cutting corner for doing a class the class was well put together the process of obtaining it you know there is there really is no true shortcut unfortunately but i hope uh that if you haven't seen my guides you check them out and if you guys already have seen them then you should be pretty pretty set um and then just if you want, follow my procedure because I was able to get um, 
the class, uh, since I already had the Elder's Blood stacked up to 17 or whatever. I already had those stacked up before I started farming, because I, I, a long time ago, because I didn't have time to farm the class up till now. But excluding those, I farmed the class in under two weeks. So, doing it like that, cutting it, cutting down the unnecessary hours of getting gold or uh, farming things by yourselves, because if you farm them in a room with aggressive monsters with your friends, you know, the rates are faster, so all that stuff helps out a lot. I was able to cut down a lot of hours by doing that, um, so I hope you guys make use of what I talked about in this uh, video. Hopefully my rambling wasn't too uh, confusing. Um, yeah. Otherwise, best of luck. Enjoy your days. I will see you guys later. Peace.